Well, it's time for another BTS vlog, and I'm going to try something a little different here today. I'm going to try to stay on my time. I've got a countdown timer in front of me on my new Android. So, uh, i got two new Androids, so, yay. Uh, this is going to be the last of the back-to-school vlogs. It's uh, the 12th uh, back-to-school vlog that uh, we've done so far. Uh, and the reason is is that uh, uh, mid-August, that's when we start going back to school, getting ready to start thinking about it. September is our first month back to school, so uh, it's just about, uh, uh, well, it is September 26th, so this is it. This is uh, sort of the last of the back to school vlogs, because after the next vlog, which will be in a couple of days, uh, it will be part of the regular school year. And I say school year because uh, the way, as I said before, my... <laughs> The way uh, I ended up doing things is with my studying. It's like being in school for the rest of your life. It's like being a professional student. That's my job. My studying is my career. So <laughs> it's uh, basically calling me a professional student. Uh, anyways, uh, what's been going on? Um, I was waiting for a uh, upgrade to my uh, uh, major upgrade to my facilities here, uh, and. There was a delay in it, so it took me a while to vlog, uh, to catch up on my BTS vlogs. Uh, so that's sort of what delayed the vlogs themselves. Because if, if, if you're not watching, here's the way to tell if, if I'm on time or not. If you're watching the video within a t one or two days uh, of, it being, of, of it actually being made, then you, you, it, it usually I'm on schedule. But if you're watching and you're sort of like a, it's a week backlog where I'm uploading uh, two or three uh, BTS vlogs a day, that means I'm backlog. My studying is, is sort of uh, backed up, and there's a lot of work to be done. And I really don't have the time uh, to sit down and really uh, get these uh, uh, BTS vlogs out. Uh, I'm now trying to film them more, even though I don't necessarily have the time to get them out. If I can film them, take like 10 minutes, 10 minutes a day to film them, then that's great, and that's sort of how I'm uh, going to resolve some of these problems, some of these issues. Uh, so a little bit about me: BBT or out uh, is uh, Big Bang Theory live, uh, real life. I should say B yeah, BBT. BBT is Big Bang Theory. That's the TV show on CBS with uh, Sheldon Cooper uh, and the uh, astronomers. Uh, the TV show about the geeks. And because I'm a real geek, uh, many years ago, uh, not many, <laughs> uh, just about two years ago, year and a half ago, uh, I decided to do uh, a real life version of real because I'm a real, this is my real life version of the Big Bang Theory. Uh, I, I kind of that's, that's how I explain what I do on a daily basis. And. Um, so I created a, uh, 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 a web series out of it. Now it's more that because I'm more online as Cyborg Alpha. It's more from simply being the BBT URL into uh, the Cyborg Alpha TV, which is uh, uh, my attempt to create an IPTV channel. And there's a whole series of stuff coming up behind there uh, for physics that will go into physics TV eventually, which will be the official channel that comes out of it. Uh, and uh, there will be other TV channels coming along part of the network uh, that will sort of tie everything together. But it's a little bit complicated, so what's happened now is that the, the, the web shows, of, uh, the web show, uh, the series that, that mm, the web series have already started, which is uh, uh, Ubuntu BSD Unix and Tau, uh, Cyborgs and Cybernetics, uh, and Beauty and the Geek. Those are all coming back as I fix up my network, as I get everything sort of scheduled out here. Uh, everything's going to come back. It's just a matter of sort of getting everything organized. The, the upgrade here, uh, I still haven't finished the upgrade. I've got a majority of it done, but it's not completely finished. It's going to take me a week to do all the cleanup work. Uh, so basically by Monday, everything will be done, and I should be back to my normal schedule again. And that's where I'm going to try to sort of pick up the pace and... Uh, get more of the work done. That's why you'll see, you'll start seeing as of Monday, you'll start seeing more uploading, more content coming online as uh, I bring the three shows back that were, that were over, that were, that I began filming before uh, I went up to my research on Mars Alpha on, in August. So basically I was filming up until basically mid-July. Mid-July ended up going up to, uh, uh, to Mars Alpha and 
basically my research projects continued all the way into um, uh, mid-September so I really wasn't around to film too much uh, in terms of doing these uh, s these uh, shows and then there was also a lot of change in the equipment too in terms of what I could and couldn't do uh, on the Android in terms of uh, film production so but now I'm back in the office on a more regular basis I'm back in my library uh, so things can start again I'm getting the editing, editing bay organized uh, it's, the editing bay is now fully connected to the internet. I'm using the internet more, uh, not the internet, um, my network, uh, because I don't have a simply one computer. One, I don't have one computer here. I have an entire network. So instead of having, uh, I have my PC, I have my laptop, I have a network. So that's the way I operate uh, everything. And that operate that network. And the point of uh, of the androids is to create myself as an as an and, as, as a cyborg. A cyborg is a person who interfaces. Uh, so tightly with the computer that the computer becomes part of him. In other words, he has a virtual existence on the internet. And because I do have some degree of virtual in, uh, 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 presence on the internet, I've developed that for myself. Uh, that's where Cyborg Alpha, Cyborg Alpha came from. And so, one of the upgrades that came uh, just on Tuesday that I've been working on uh, was this upgrade, a major upgrade to Cyborg Alpha. And that actually uh, produced an enormous amount of work, uh, but it, it, it's not a bad amount of work. It just uh, it, it's 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 you've like you've got a puzzle in front of you or something you like doing some some sort of something you have to build that you enjoy, and all the pieces have come in, and now you're anxious to put everything together because you want to start using it. <laughs> so and what I'm saying is that using it uh, means still means work and it means studying uh, but building it all takes work and it takes studying as well so <laughs> it really does uh, take a bit of effort to do this uh, basically Tuesday and Wednesday to get everything up to this point and working properly uh, it's basically been about uh, 15 hour days I mean talking 15 hours straight work uh, in terms of studying and getting things organized uh, loading on loading software loading apps, uh, configuring them, making sure they work properly, uh, straightening out accounts. So it does take work and it does take effort, but it is not, to me it's all worth it. So I'm very happy with it. And that's how everything goes. Um, what will I say? I'll say uh, this. I'm going to be trying something new, and this is, uh, I'm trying to do some more editing on the on the Android, to being, get, bringing Cyborg Alpha into a fully mobile situation where I can uh, really walk around. That's given me, that's what I, what came in the package on Tuesday uh, that I was waiting for was another two Androids. I have one Android, I had one Android already, now I've got three of them. One is going to be the main Android that I use primarily, and then two are going to be for development, so I can start developing software for Android. And the particular goal is to bring uh, the Linux open source into Android on a more permanent basis. In other words, basically, Android is Linux, with uh, Android being sort of the user interface. Uh, and because it's the user interface, uh, it can under 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 the terms of Linux, if if, if you follow Linux properly, uh, Linux is supposed to be open, and it's supposed to be interchangeable. In other words, if you like the Android, but you like some other features from other desktops, then you can take and pull features from one desktop and add them to another desktop. That's the way it's supposed to work. Desktops are supposed to be uh, very plug and play, very modular, so that you can if if instead of having a desktop that someone makes for you. In other words, uh, when you get your desktop from Apple or from uh, Windows, it is the way it is, and there's not really much you can do in terms of changing it around and changing the features with it. Uh, with Linux, uh, the desktop really should be so configurable that it doesn't matter the way. It, it, imagine, imagine that taking the best of Mac and taking the best of Windows, putting them together and making your own hybrid desktop. Well, that's what you can do on Linux. 
And this is what what I intend to do here is bring Android, KDE, and GNOME all together, bring them into and, and sort of so that the parts between these desktops. So you have a desktop that's Android, desktop that's GNOME, desktop that's KDE. Take the parts that you want from each one of them and put them together and create a hybrid uh, desktop. That's where we're going to go with this. That's where I want to go with this. And because uh, probably October, I will be getting a Wi-Fi hotspot for this so that um, the network will be fully mobile. Right now, I have to do Wi-Fi hopping. Uh, but next month, I should have enough funds to bring in a, a, a mobile uh, connection to the Internet. And that will uh, sort of really connect me to the Internet in terms of ways that I have never been connected to the Internet before. And give me a larger presence that I already do have on uh on here already, and that's this is sort of what you what you're able to follow. what you're able to follow on on Cyborg Alpha TV and any other channel associated with Cyborg Alpha TV is you'll be able to follow and this is in B BBT era you'll be able to follow my development from the very beginnings of the uh, of my appearance on uh, the internet as my research center through the, the through the growth of Cyborg Alpha and into the, the, the continued growth of, of Cyborg Alpha. This is sort of the next phase of Cyborg Alpha. Uh, and it, it, it will be a larger presence. It will be a more uh, 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 consistent pre presence on the internet. In other words, I will have created a virtual existence, a virtual presence on the internet uh, with this mobile capacity, with these uh, uh, the development Androids, uh, so I can do uh, uh, Android development and sort of really bring all these platforms together, so that I can really, truly create the cyborg experience, and that's sort of uh, where I'm going. I don't really believe, as a physicist, as, as a scientist, uh, uh, studying uh, cyborgs and cybernetics, that you need to actually physically implant uh, the connection. Uh, the internet connection uh, into a person in order to be a cyborg. You just simply have to have a significant degree or at least some degree uh, of presence on the internet, virtual presence on the internet. Uh, and that's what grows as a cyborg. The cyborg is, don't forget, is half human, half computer. So this is the human half, the part that exists on the internet, the parts of my, that are my computer, uh, that are connected to me, uh, create my virtual presence as Cyborg Alpha. Uh, because the Cyborg, the computer part, does have to do, at, at some point in time, some, uh, some what do you call sentient, uh, this is the goal, some, some sentient uh, capacity, some sentient functions. In other words, it has to be some, somewhat semi-autonomous. Uh, and you don't want it to be violent. And if you sit down and you study society, you'll find that females, uh, I guess compared to males, are significantly less violent. That doesn't mean they're not violent. It just means that they're not as violent as men are. And if you want something that's automated, that's like a robot, uh, to be functioning on its own, and not come back and attack you like you see in the movies, then you don't want male robots. You want female robots. Because they're, you know... <laughs> you know, that's the, that's the way they that's the way they grow because the cyborg in this in the case cyborg Alva reflects who I am because I'm basically an infinite tween um, even though intellectually in terms of where my mind goes uh, I'm way above the standard society uh, but because uh, if you look at my life definition the average adult has a definition the average adult is something one thing specifically and all other things sort of fall off and become minor or non-existent. But for a kid, particularly particularly from between the ages of 8 and 14, the possibility is that the definition of life for them is infinite. It's open, completely open. There is no definition for that period. And what happened as I was doing my research, as I went into open exploration, my definition went back down to that identically uh, uh, in terms of the, the identity, in terms of how I define myself, went back down to that tween stage. So uh, my decision was about the fact the case and geeks are allowed to play with toys, uh, that uh, I would uh, 
indulge that side of me, and that would mean that uh, both Cyborg Alpha and I would be an infinite tween. And so that's where I am. And you can sort of see this uh, on Cyborg Alpha. You can see the different types of likes that I have, uh, the different things I explore. At. All the work that I do uh, will be visible on Cyborg Alpha through BBT, BBT, BBTRL, Big Bang Theory Real, uh, Real Life. Uh, so that's about it for today. I'm a bit tired, so <laughs> anyways, see you later. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.